Hey, what is up guys? It's Arnik and welcome to this week's video. This time around we are taking a look at how to use the time displacement effect. There are a ton of ways of using time displacements in After Effects, like trading trippy visuals, distorting topography and stuff like that. But this time we are focusing on creating these stylistic background animations. So let's dive in there. Before we get going, let's discuss how the time displacement effect in After Effects actually works. When you apply the effect to your layer, After Effects will alter the replay of any movement that layer has based on the target layer's brightness level of that exact pixel. So what does that mean really? Well, say you have a video clip with some level of movement. When applying time displacement, the target layer will initially be set to that layer itself. Playing back, we get those trippy kind of visuals that you have seen in the intro of this video. If our target layer is a solid of 50% gray, the replay will not alter in any way. As gray is neutral, white is early and black is later replay. Notice we are not talking faster or slower here. It is just shifting the start timing of that movement. Which means that in order to control this pre-made grid-like animation, we want each of these tiles to be affected individually by plain blacks, whites and grays. And make an educated guess which of our beloved bass effects can help us out with that. Of course, it's the fractal noise. So create a new solid layer with controller command plus Y Name it Fractal for example, move it to the bottom of your composition, add the Fractal Noise effect and change the values as follows. Noise Type to Block, Complexity to 1, Contrast doesn't really matter, somewhere between 100 and 300 is a safe bet. Depending on your specific grid distribution and size, it is crucial to adjust the scaling and positioning accordingly. So open up the Transform dropdown, uncheck Uniform Scaling, at least if your animation is anything other than rectangular, and scale away. Finding the exact scaling and positioning of the fractal blocks can sometimes get a little fiddling, but eventually you will get there and it will look a little something like this. With the fractal layer all set up, you can hide the fractal layer as we don't really need it, and now get to apply the time displacement effect to your animated layer or precomp. First off, set the target layer to your fractal layer. To determine how much the animation is supposed to be delayed, you can simply adjust the max displacement time over here. And as you can see, nothing happened. Well, that is because due to this dropdown up here, the effect does not look at our fractal grid itself, but only at the source color of the solid, which obviously is a solid color, and this does not allow After Effects for any alterations. Change this to effects and masks, however, and everything is going just great. If you want to, you can also animate the fractal evolution to change the offset over time. But for grids like these, I think it is better to just leave it as is. That is already looking pretty good. Now, to achieve that 3D look I've shown you earlier, you'll need to pre-compose all of this by highlighting everything and holding down Ctrl and Shift or Command and Shift plus C, name it 3D Tilt or some sort and hit OK. Switch your modes by clicking down here or hit F4 on your keyboard until you see these sets of icons. Activate 3D mode for your precomp layer and rotate in 3D space to your liking. If your grid gets cut off due to the 3D manipulation, you can quickly add the motion tile effect and increase output width and height until everything is covered completely. To give it more depth, feel free to add some blur on a separate adjustment layer that you fade out by using a simple feathered mask. And in the end, if you want to, add a little glow to tie it all together. Well, and there you have it. To me, time displacement is another one of those things that you only get to appreciate and see its full potential after using it a bunch of times. So get to it and get your creative juices flowing. I'm really curious to see how your results turn out with this. 
If you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring that bell for a new video every week. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!